Ontario, located just off the Manitoba border, is a beautiful city. It has many attractions that bring in tourists from all over the world. However, one of the most famous attractions is that it is a Stanley Cup champion. If you have ever been to Kenora, you'd be able to tell very quickly that it is a hockey town, and it always has been, even as far back as 1907. It was then that a team of seven men known as the Kenora Thistles challenged the Montreal Wanderers for the Cup in a best of three matchup, coming out on top. Back then, the Stanley Cup and even hockey itself was a lot different than what it is today. The famous Cup was not won in the NHL, and there were no playoffs. Any team who wanted to win the Cup could. They just had to challenge the team who'd won it last. In order to know just how hard the Stanley Cup was to win in 1907, you need to understand how hockey was played back then. Louis McKay did not play on the Stanley Cup winning team, but he did play on the 1934 championship winning team. He is the oldest living Kenora Thistle and we went to him to find out more about hockey back in those days. So, Mr. McKay, how old were you when you played for the Kenora Thistles? 17. Yeah, when I played for the Kenora Thistles, that's when I started out playing at that age, yes. So what was hockey like in 1934? Not as rough as what it is today, but it was rough enough. Was the game faster or slower than what it is today? Well, the boys today are, have a much better opportunity because they're, they're being drilled very well by experts in the field of hockey. What was the equipment like back in 1934? Naturally, it was old, very old. And uh, some of it wasn't too good. I broke my collarbone twice, so. What was the rink like that the Thistles would have played in? We used to call it the matchbox. It was very small. It held about 1,500 people. And it uh, was just natural ice. And we had bad days in the winter when the mild weather came along. We'd be almost playing in water rather than ice. And the, the rink, it's, uh, the ice surface itself was small. It was only about 72 feet wide and about 180 feet long. So that's why we called it the matchbox. And where was the rink located in Kenora? Where the post office is today. That, that was the land it was on. In January 1907, a hockey team from Kenora defeated the Montreal Wanderers in two challenge games at Montreal to win the Stanley Cup. The team was coached and trained by J.A. Link. The trophy emblematic of the Canadian Championship had been presented by the Governor General Baron Stanley of Preston in 1892. Kenora is the smallest town ever to win the Cup. The 1907 Thistles may be gone now, however, the Kenora Thistles are not. The local hockey rink was named after the 1907 Thistles on the centennial celebration of their win, and Kenora's traveling Adam, Pee Wee, and Bantam teams are still called the Thistles today. So next time you're going through Kenora, stop and look at all the Thistle attractions. Hey, why not stop and watch a game or two?